Okay, what's up, people? It's JR. Um, I'm going to talk about Deontay Wilder. And in a way, this is a response video to... Uh, well, I heard Divine Senses video. And Wood the God did a uh, video on Deontay Wilder. And why people wouldn't like him, okay? And... This is just my opinion, of course, but I think a lot of people share it. I'm going to break it down for you. Uh, and first off, this is not a diss in any type of way. I respect Divine's channel, uh, Divine Senses channel. I respect Wood the God's channel a great deal, okay? Me and him are from the same city. We're from uh, different sides somewhat. I believe he was on, on the west side, and I grew up on the east side. But, you know, so this is not a diss in any way. Um, but, okay, let's get started here. Deontay Wilder, the first time I seen the man, I wanted him to be great, okay? Uh... He attained the WBC title. And I said to myself, okay, this is when he's going to take a step up. Deontay Wilder has never took a step up in fighting. Okay? He's knocking out bums. This is the reason why I don't uh, fuck with him. Okay? Now... I want him to do good. He does not push himself to greatness. I want to see greatness. I want to see fighters attempt to be great. Is there anything wrong with that? You know? Um, I would like to see Deontay Wilder knock out Anthony Joshua. But because Deontay Wilder has chosen to fight... Or maybe he's not chosen them. I believe Al Heyman has chosen these fighters for him. And uh, it, it makes him look very bad. Very bad. Okay. Just let me read some of these records to you real fast. Wild Wilder should have been uh, climbing up the ladder that a prospect is supposed to climb. He has been wasted by fighting fighters with records like uh, Harold Scano, who was 7 and 20, Dan Shannon, who's 11 and 38, then the fight before Bermain Stavern. The fight before Bermain Stavern. So, mind you. He was a heavyweight champion. Took on some bum I can't pronounce who was 25 and 16. Once again, we are not talking about a fringe contender. We're talking about a WBC titleist, so-called world champion, who's 37 and 0 with 36 knockouts, okay? Now, divine sense on the American thing. Uh, I don't support Russian athletes. I don't support um, fighters from overseas. I don't support United States fighters. I want to see a good fight. I want to see um, competition. I want to see Wilder test himself and try to be great, okay? When Deontay first stepped on the scene, yes, I was a fan of his, okay? Because, like, back to divine sense, all right? I don't back U.S. fighters, but a fighter like Deontay Wilder, if he came on strong and did what he should have done, of course I'd be supporting him and supporting him more because he is from the United States, okay? Just like I was a Mike Tyson fan. But Mike Tyson unified the belts, okay? In what? A 10-month period? Now, I could be wrong, but I'm not running the box wreck 
like a lot of you motherfuckers do. You sit there on your channel, okay? Thank your LDBC crew. Then sit there and read Box Rec right off the goddamn screen. And holler about Brooklyn. And here's some other things. Uh, are you aware of the great Charlie Zelenoff? Shout out to Zapata Boxing. Or Z I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Uh, Zapata Boxing. Z-A-P-A-T-A. Shout out to you, homie. Nice new channel you set up. Keep doing your thing. Uh, okay, back to Charlie Zelenoff. Are you aware of the great Charlie Zelenoff? This is a 120-pound mentally retarded boy, okay? That Deontay Wilder fought. You know, hit him in a boxing ring. Then hit him while he was down. Now, Charlie Zolinoff said some bad things to Deontay Wilder. But as a heavyweight champion, you got to conduct yourself as a champion. You can't go around beating up internet trolls that talk bad about you, man. Especially when they're mentally fucking retarded. I mean, check out the dude's videos, Charlie Zolinoff. There's something wrong with him. I grew up with a kid like him. That, you know, if you beat him with a baseball bat and he survived, it just wouldn't click in his fucking head. But, you know, the whole neighborhood knew he was retarded, so we didn't fucking go beating on him and shit. But obviously, Deontay Wilder uh, skipped that in his streets. So, you know, I don't know what the fuck Alabama's about, but... And don't just take it from me about Charlie Zelenoff and Deontay Wilder. Uh... I do have footage for you. Enjoy. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. No, 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 you about to make me mad now. Get up. No, done. Get up. 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 So, not only does he beat the retarded guy up, but when the retarded guy's on the ground with both his gloves up saying, please don't hit me no more, uh, your heavyweight world champion comes in and hits him while he's down on the ground. Uh, you know, what, what a man to back, you know. He's a real fucking coward as far as I'm concerned. Now, and his record shows that, you know. 37 and 0. And the man has never faced a top 10 contender. Alright, if he is, if Malik Scott was a top 10 contender, which I believe he was, that don't count because that fight was clearly a fucking dive. You can check my earlier videos for proof of that shit. Okay? Now... Um, let me see if there's anything else I want to cover while I'm on this. Now, if Deontay Wilder switches over, fights some top name guys, okay, then goes and fights Anthony Joshua, then I will give him his props and I will support him in beating Anthony Joshua, even though I do not believe. Deontay Wilder has the skill on his best day to beat Anthony Joshua. I would still support him because he's from America. I like his story. I like the fact that he's fighting for his crippled daughter and all that. But then again, it's boxing, not charity. And man, you've got to stop fighting these bums. 
This is JR, the boxing junkie. Um, enjoy your night, people. Peace.